Hey guys, this is RC with Scrubbing Monkeys. I was in the process of uh, creating a patch for my upcoming commercial sound bank for Fathom Synthesizer and was messing around with the Beezer properties on the envelopes. So I thought I'd make a video and show you uh, what was going on there because it's a very powerful feature that's uh, kind of hidden in the background if you haven't really dove into this thing. If you're not familiar with Fathom, go check it out. I put a link down at the bottom to Fathom Synth. Uh, it's an awesome product, uh, very reasonably priced. Uh, I believe it's also on sale for the entire month of March 2019 at a significant discount. This video is primarily for those that are already familiar with Fathom. And for those that aren't, just uh, you can, you'll be able to see some of the features. So I was working with this patch, kind of a cello-esque kind of thing. Uh, and in sound design, we're always trying to create motion uh, one way or another. Uh, in this case, I was after creating that little bit of tug and pull as a bow first hits the string of a cello as it, as it the rosin grabs the string and it pulls it a little bit out of pitch just at the beginning. Uh, before the, the string starts starts its vibration. You can hear it maybe a little bit. It's a little bit exaggerated in this patch. I did that by applying this envelope with this crazy little squiggly line. So it, it just has a squiggly line on its way from this value down to zero. I applied that to the FM amount the FM ratio, and a little bit of the overdrive. Just just a little bit to kind of give it some brightness. But that was on that particular patch. But let me open up another instance and show this a little bit more clearly. Here what I've done is I've inserted just a basic waveform. I think we have a saw wave. Let me turn that one off, turn this one on. And we have just a saw wave. No envelope on the volume. Volume is kind of a gate. May even that out. Okay, here I have just a, a basic envelope as a modulator. It has three points. It has a starting point, and it has its ending point, and then it has a middle where you can set curves or whatnot. Here in Fathom, you have the ability to make this point a Beezer curve simply by clicking it once. Now you're able, you have two segments. Well, you have one segment excuse me, that you can control the curves of. Much easier than trying to, you know, draw this out. Uh, most multi-segment envelopes will give you a bunch of little squares everywhere. Uh, this is really cool, really smooth. If you click on the center point again, you get a double beezer. Double beezer basically just gives you two segments. You have the curve there, and then you can play with the curve here. But it gets really interesting if you hit it for the third time. Now what you have is the ability to bring in all kinds of curves. You not only can add a lot of curves, but you can shape them the way you want them to function. In this case, from a you know, big down to a little. And this is kind of an exaggerated uh, an example of, of what I was creating with the cello patch. You can hear that pitch wah, 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 on its way out. Anyway, I thought I'd just make a real short video for you guys and show you uh, that particular 
particular functionality uh, within Fathom. Again, one of those kind of hidden features if you really didn't get into the manual and, and study that you would never know that that little point by clicking on it would give you these, these features. In this particular case, this beezer is on the envelope, which is a modulator. It also works the same on wave draw. So if you were drawing a waveform, uh, you would also have the same functionality. Anyway, hopefully it's been uh, at least entertaining to some degree. Again, take a look at Fathom if you haven't. And uh, keep an eye out for my, for my new sound set coming up here soon, which will be available on the Fathom website. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon.